Jesus wants you to go to your people. Go back to your home, people that you know, the people who he has put in your life and tell them what Jesus has done for you. If you know this message of what Jesus has done, then you are the best qualified person to reach the people in your life. The people you know are not the people I know. The people you know are not the people the rest of the people in our church know. You know them. You're in their life. Go tell them what Jesus did for you. You know, I'm not a big fan of testimonials in public worship because I'm pretty convinced worship should be about God, not about our lives. But the Bible is very clear that testimonials are one of the most valuable resources when it comes to sharing your faith with other people. A lot of times we think sharing our faith has to have like a technical knowledge of whether creation is true or evolution is true or, or what Jesus is like, what's his nature, well, how do you figure out the Trinity, what's going to happen at the end of the world, what is baptism, all these sorts of things. And there's value in knowing those things for sure. But, but Jesus says, just tell him what I did for you. Just share who you were and who you are now. Can you do that? Can you look at your life and say, you know what, I would have been on that path if it weren't for Jesus. And Jesus saved my marriage. Jesus saved my life. Jesus gave me purpose. Jesus gave me peace. I'm the person I am today, not because I made myself this way, but because of Jesus. It's going to be uncomfortable. I'm sure that man didn't like reliving that episode of his life where he was demon-possessed, crying out, cutting himself in the caves. But because he was willing to talk about that, he was able to show the surpassing greatness of God's grace to him. Can you do the same thing?